Hello, hello, good morning, good morning, Mitzi here at 307 Junk Journals. Um, like I promised earlier in the week, we're going to work on some paper bag um, things for our journals. But I just wanted to go through, I went to the mail before I started this. And um, I just wanted to share, share with you what you could take away from your mail. Like this FedEx envelope, this window is quite large. And it has lots of space here and lots of space here. Um, I opened it such that if I want to use this, and this inside actually isn't that bad. Um, I've seen worse, so this isn't bad. Uh, and then I got this envelope, which has a nice big window. I love the big, the big window envelopes. Um, so we'll use that. Not today, but I'll it'll it'll get used in a journal and then this one is you know payment return envelope and look at it. it's caught it's um craft paper how wonderful is that so, so that means that when you're collaging this you don't have to collage everything just the bits that you don't want showing like this and this and and it'll be fabulous so we put those up and then I got a package from Amazon. As you can see, sorry if you can hear my big dog, but look at the inside of this envelope. It's um, it's it's quite gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to tear this. Oh, I thought I could tear it off, but apparently. No, that would be asking too much. But that's alright, because you could use this paper. Oops. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's not what wanted to happen. Um, you could use this for... Um, you know, book covers. You could use this for... Um, oops. You could use this for... Tags. You could use it for... Um, journaling cards, anything that you'd normally use a regular piece of paper for, you could use this. Great. Now I'm all sticky. All because I had to get jiggy with it and separate the two pieces. So this is going to go down in my stash of, of paper that I could use for journaling spots, tags. You know, I could put that on the back of the tag, um, all that stuff. And then I went to the pharmacy today and picked up some prescriptions and I got this wonderful bag. Um, this is the bag that we're actually going to use. I couldn't find them other day, so when I was getting prepared for this particular project, I pulled out one of these bags, which, which I'll show you how to fold both and then you can... Um, you can choose whatever. I got this from the dollar store. Um, so, and it, it's a good bag and they, they come colored. I don't know if they have any craft colored bags. Um, that's what I used on this one was a craft colored bag. Uh, so it may be even the same. Oh, yep. It is a pharmacy bag. So this one here was made out of one of these bags. Um, so yeah. So let's get cracking. I hope everybody's doing good today. I have a big old fat coffee here. And that's a wonderful thing. I had, well, I don't know if it's a wonderful thing. Let me, let me, let me rephrase that. So, sorry. I, I won't force you to watch me stir my yumminess um night before last i had some chicken wings from a local place here in town and i normally don't have any trouble with those chicken wings well they cause some digestive distress <laughs> let's just put it that way um 9 15 i started feeling bad 9 31 i was emptying my stomach of those wings uh, so my stomach, my tummy, I'm feeling better. My tummy's still a little sensitive. I know, TMI, so sorry. So that coffee is one of those, hmm, is it really going to benefit, am I really going to benefit from that? I don't know. 
But I, I don't know that I care. I need caffeine and you want me caffeinated. So there you have it. All right. So what you do is, anyway, back to the job at hand. Okay. So you have a bag like this. It's all folded nice. And this is, this is how I store them. I usually fold this up like that. And that's how I store them. Or, you know. Because I don't have a lot of space. I'm sure I've told you that before. I don't have a lot of space in my area. Um, my little craft room here is, oh no, probably seven and a half by ten, maybe. And well, it serves several purposes. It's my videoing room, craft room, um... I have my closet behind me so it's and then there's a sewing area that I re I don't sew as much as I used to and when I do so it's usually hand stitching so or the slow stitching following along with Rachel over at Roxy Creations with her Roxy's Journal of Stitchery um but that's that's pretty much all I do um but this room is packed, packed, I'm telling you, packed. I have two trolleys that, well, one of them's not really being utilized to its full potential, but I don't really have anywhere to put it. I guess I could put it where the trash can is. That might be a good place, um, which is over here. And then the other one, the top, I do utilize that one. The middle shelf, the bottom shelf is for straps that I can use that are plain bits like this that, that I could put on the back of tags or the back of journaling cards. And then the middle space I have is just, you know, scraps similar to this. Um, not those scraps because those scraps are, oops, sorry, are Roxy Creation scraps and then the top shelf is dedicated to roxy creations i have book page music page book covers you know like the dust covers um there's some tracy fox on the web. in there um well you know we're just gonna call my watch lila and lila is being well, she's not being very nice. She's interrupting. And so, and then I have, I mean, I just have stuff in there that I'm thinking that I might be working on soon or I'm going to be wanting to use, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, back to the project at hand because I can waffle with the best. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put your hand inside the bag, open it up, um... And then right here, there's a uh, like a Y that comes here. And what I do is I just take my fingernail or my finger, if I don't have fingernails, and I just pinch that there. And then I follow, this bag here is not really, you can't really see the line there. And then I, fold, then I straighten that all out. And I come over and do the same thing to the other side. See, I'm just... Right there at the Y, I'm just pinching it, grabbing the other side at the top of the bag, the the um, middle, so to speak, and give it a number fold. And then what I do is I come and pinch the top of the Y and the top of the Y, and I just pull it, pull it straight, and see that just it opens that up. It's a little chilly here, so I'm wearing, well, chilly. It's snowing. Who am I kidding? It's snowing outside. I don't mind the snow, but some people mind the snow. I don't really care. It's snow. And we need the moisture. So that's all there is to opening a bag up. I just open it up. And then, depending on whether you want um, a tuck spot here, is how you're going to, is is how you're gonna fold it. So if you want it like this, or just this one here, fold it like this for now. Um, fold it like that, and then see, then you have room for your tuck spot here. 
Um, if you don't and you want something like this, I don't think I have a tech spot in here. Um, I don't even know where that piece is. Well, nope, I don't have a tech spot, but again, I don't know where, I'm assuming it's underneath this paper here. So that's what we're going to do, but I'm going to fold this because I do want a tuck spot, but I don't want that big of tuck spot. I just want something little. Um, you can use your bone folder, but be aware that most of the sacks that you get out and about, like from your fast food places, you know, Wendy's, Hardee's, McDonald's, Burger Thing, or Burger King, um, their bags are a little plat, they're a little thin. So just be aware that no bigger is bone folding because it could tear. So there we go. Now we have a trifold, a trifold. And as you can see, this is all torn up, which is fine. I'm going to actually cover this. I'm going to cover the entire bag. As you can see here, I covered pretty much the entire bag. And Lila is at it again. Bless her little heart. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Oops. And I have a tag trying to escape. Now this one here is one that I just folded like this. And again, for some unknown reason, I did not utilize this tuck spot. Today we're going to utilize that tuck spot. So there you have it. Um, and I just folded it in half. I don't even know why I didn't utilize that. Good grief. I didn't utilize this bag. This is just basically covered. <laughs> um, and I think this may be a KFC bag. So... You know, it, you can use whatever size of bag um, that you have or you want. So, like on this bag, you saw how much smaller this was. It was like a couple inches smaller. So, again, I'll show you how I open them up. I open them all the way up. So, it's, so it's you know, a bag. And then I just go to one side. And I pinch there at the at the Y and at the middle of up there and give it a give it a squish and then I come over to the other side and I do the same thing. So you can see this Y here. That is what I'm that is I, I'm coming to where all three creases meet and I'm just grabbing them. And I find that it's easier if I go away from me. And then pull, then, then you grab it again at the Y, and at the Y, and you give it a pull. And then this, I mean, this is, is kind of fussy. So it took me forever to, to learn. See, like, you know, the paper bags are just, they're just fussy. But see, you can have this and you could do, have it like a booklet like this. Um, and you could put in a few uh, journaling pages in there, make this a notebook and have a tuck here, have this as a pocket, whatever. Um, I tend to like, I tend to like the, the, the trifold. I don't know why, but I do. So, you know, play around with it. Decide what you like. And see, that does still give me a little bit of space here for the trifold for a pocket or for a tuck spot. It's not going to be a full pocket. It's going to be a tuck spot. And all like on this one, it's going to be for a very narrow tag. I mean, very narrow. Like... How, and, and you can use your ruler. I hate that ruler. I don't even know what. Well, I don't hate that ruler. I like that ruler because this ruler got broken. And I was hoping the metal rulers would come in today for the video. But, well, I got a punch. I got some nail stickers or decals. And what else did I get from Amazon? 
Oh, I got some really big paper clips, and this is just for um, binding for when I'm, you know, hand sewing them in. Um, so anyway, so the widest you're going to be able to have a tag is an inch and a half wide in here it's an inch and three quarters and you don't want it to bump the fold but see how much smaller this would be nice um just to poke in a in a pocket in a journal and which you know i might i might if we have time we're going to decorate this one. Oh, there goes lila again but for now, we're going to use this. I like to use cardstock or um, like the strap, scrapbooking cardstock for at least part of this. Um, only because it makes it a tad bit sturdier. And I did not get that out. So bear with me for a moment while I turn around. And oh, I have the bird waltz out here. So we're just going to use the bird waltz because it's, well, it's pretty paper. Pretty paper. And this is by, um, oh goodness, the Blue, uh, Blue Fern Studios. But see, it's so pretty. Anyway, all right, so this, this front piece here and this piece here are the trickiest. So, and you can, I've seen them sewn around and I have one that's sewn around and it's, it's at the salon because I have a lot of my clients ask me, what the heck is a junk journal or a handmade journal? And so I took it to, excuse my head, excuse my reach. I'm trying to see if I have any more in here. Nope, I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I do. Is it sewn? It is. Um, so this one is stitched on, on the outside and you always, you would start the stitching with the outside. And again, this is just a double. I, again, did not utilize the pocket value there or here. Well, whatever. And it's because I sewed it. So I stitched around this. I measured how big I wanted this page and how big I wanted this page. Then I went over to my sewing machine and stitched it. Now, for the inside pieces, I made sure that these inside pieces fit inside the stitching. Um... Just so you could still see the stitching on the inside so the paper wasn't um interfering with it but as you can see i only got one pocket i could probably put another pocket over here um stitching does cause this pocket if you're thinking you're wanting to use this is the pocket oops right here stitching will cause that cause you not to be able to use that or this one so because it'll be stitched down you see so that's so that's that this is one of the first ones i made so and i was using it for a while and as you can see it's kind of battered but that's okay all right so we are going to make this a pocket for something and then we're going to make this a pocket for something. And that one there, we're not going to be able to use. Let's see, that's an inch and five eighths. So an inch and a half is all that we'll be able to make whatever we put in here. All right, so let's get measuring. And for this, I actually do measure. Um, well, for most of it, let's put it that way. Who are we kidding? I don't measure for. There's no stinking measuring. So I just line this up like so, and I take a pencil. And I'm sorry if my head's in the way, but I can see. And we're going to put a line right there. And then I'm going to look down here and see if I can find a cutter because, you know, cutting is important. And then we're going to find the line that I just did. I know it was just a squidge. Line it up. Give it a cut. Give it a cut. 
And this is not, nope, I'm gonna have to get the big one. The big cutter. I don't see the big cutter. God bless America. The whole land of the free. Sorry if I'm bumping you. I'm trying to find, oh, here, no. No, it might be it. No. And, oh, and piece of wood. That doesn't give me a whole lot of good. Well, I found this one. And I don't know where it is. I, I had a new one. I don't know where it is, though. So. It's all good cutters go down below underneath my table because, well, that's where they should go. I'm, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking for a blade for this particular cutter. Sorry, I thought I was more organized than this, but apparently, well, apparently girlfriend here is not organized. Okay, come on. I know you can do it. There you go. I don't think this one fits down in there. Is it going to cut? Because this is for that other... No. I wonder. Oh, I see what the problem is. I'll have to adjust this one, which is fine. I'm just not going to adjust it on camera. Uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do is, is I have a nail drill here at home, and I'm just going to grind this edge off. That's on both sides, because that will, because that's really the only difference between these two blades. Um, let me see if, I have other blades over here. I was pretty sure I had blades for that, but apparently I do not. So I may have to actually stop and try and find the cutter that I'm wanting. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, that's just a big one. Nope. Nope. Well, God bless America. Heaven only knows what happened to it. So we'll see if this one works. I can hope. I can dream. Let me dream. Let me dream. Again, I know my desk... My desk is a mess, y'all. It's just a mess. I will give you a tour once I straighten everything up. Give everything a once over. Um, especially vacuuming my floor. Because a lot of times I don't have time to scoop in my hand and throw over there. And if I do it, sometimes it does just, just doesn't make it. Well... Seriously, how far could that have gone? I used it just the other day. All right, let's see if I can use this one. I might be able to use this one. Oh, yeah, look at there. I'm going to be able to use it. It'll be fine. Okay. Whoo, crisis averted. All right, so, and you know, you can choose any papers. Uh, like I said, I like to use cardstock on... That, at least the outside. Let me. Y'all can't see because I can't see. So let me get rid of putting this paper off to the side here. Um, then I'm just going to line this up again. I'm not really. I'm not going to say I'm lining it up perfectly because, well. We all know how I operate, and it's not a perfect world. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then that. Oops, and that moved. That's not good. What happened to the line? There it is. There. Okay. And so those lines that I made, what I will do is I will cut on the inside of them. And see, this is why I really, really liked. Oh, this may not work. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at there. The blade came out and it's stuck. Okay, plan C. 
This will need to go back in there. Try not to cut myself. So, okay, we're just gonna put all of that up there. We're not gonna we're not gonna comment about it. I have other methods which will work just as well. Um you know what I really need? I really need Okay, so I'm just going to line these up just on the inside of those marks. And, oops, that moved. How far did it move? Oh, it moved quite a bit. Well, again, God bless America. See, worst case scenario is, is I have to use a craft knife and a ruler, which kind of eats my lunch. Carol Laws uses one all the time, and she's wonderful with it. Wonderful. She's like a good ruler, and I think she's standing, and I'm not standing, so so there's that. Okay, so let's see how we did here. And if you wanted to, you could ink this up. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Why? Well, what happened here? Well, hmm. See, these bags are just, well, they're, they're titch special. What is that coming in? Leave that there. I'm just going to use this ruler because, because I like this ruler. Even though, even though I don't have... All of it and you just these like I said these two papers here are a pain okay so there we go there's that now the now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna check to see if this fits over here and it looks like it mostly does so I'm going to that's not gonna work it's fine I'm going to take, how's the height on that one? Not good. Okay, so I'll use that for something else. Because I like the butterfly. Ooh, I like the little birdie. The birdie would be nice. Okay, so excuse me while I get up and grab one of my quilting. Oh, I'm trying not to help you. Quilting rulers. This is why I don't like the quilting ruler because it's 24 inches long. And this isn't, you know, I had another one. I had like, oh, there, let's use that one. If I can get to it because, you know, again, I have lots of stuff. And for some God forsaken reason, I have it behind the shelf hanging. It'll be fine. Oh, look at that, I got it. Now if I can get it out. Killing myself and bringing the wall or shelf down. Or bringing my closet down. Okay. I like this one. I really wish it was only like eight inches long, wide, but you know, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Especially since I have no idea where that other, where that other cutter went. It's so weird. Yeah, right down here. I don't know why I'd put it somewhere else. Okay, excuse me. Hopefully I'm not flashing anybody. Because I'm having a hot flash. Throw my hoodie over on top of my little dog. Okay, let's make sure that there's nothing under here. really only need one that's like 12 inches. I mean, this one's only 15 inches, so it's better, but maybe a 13 inch one. That wouldn't be bad. 13 by 8. That wouldn't be bad at all. And then I still managed to cut it 
good. So let's straighten it up because I'm a goober. Since I'm using, this is why I don't bake. I'm telling you, I don't bake because it's a little precise. Baking requires you to be very, very precise. And that just takes a lot of time, a lot of energy. You know, I, for all of those bake, you bakers out there, I love you guys because you make all those yummy treats that, well, that don't turn out for me. So anyway, getting back to this, I want the bird, but I don't need all of that. So I am just going to cut that off. There we go. Put that over there. It's a nice scrap. Okay, where is right here? Second. Oh, see, that's gonna be perfect. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so how many inches? How big is that? That is like three and five eighths. Turn this over because I have three. Oops. Well, this isn't going to work very well, is it? Okay. Uh, all right. New plan, new plan. Okay, so I want all that bird. We're just going to line this up. Oops. We're going to line this up here. I know. This is crafting by the seat of my pants. There. Oh, see, that's going to be fabulous. And then what we'll do is we'll get we'll get this. We'll cut it just a squidge in. We're going to make sure that it's straight. Ish. Wow, that's not very that didn't come out very straight, did it? Hmm. Well. I don't know what happened. Okay, so. Oops, that, cool. Okay, so that's a nice scrap. See the other side? And Blue Thorn Studios, both sides are just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so then we're going to erase that line, this line. I love making these bags, but I got to say they're not as easy as one would think. And actually, it's only this cut, the 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 bottom, the flat part is the it's a difficult one. It is. It's just difficult. Well, you know what? On this, using my big ruler. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to help you. Excuse my head. Hi. I need to grab this one. I mean, I'm not gonna say these bags are like, super simple, but once you get past this stage of them, they're pretty easy. There. It's just that's. That angle that 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 is well, it's evil. Oh, look at that! Well, bottom. Okay, it needs to be just a squidge shorter. Y'all, all my equipment is like I don't know. Falling apart. I don't know why, but it's falling apart. Okay, there. And, you know, it... That bothers you. You could remake it. I don't know that it's really going to bother me that much. I am going to... I don't know if that's okay. Okay, so there's the inside. 
so there we go i'll put that yes i'm still looking for the other trimmer because i want to get my big guillotine trimmer out but it's long okay so i what i'm going to do now is is because this does help um when you're first starting out if you mark your fold lines in your in your bag and to mark your fold bag and fold lines in the bag well what better use than your your see so this side But if you don't want to, you don't have to. I mark it just so I can see. See, just so I can see. That's really what it is. Just so I can see where I'm putting things. And so but the paper, the cardstock, um, doesn't bump into the folds. Because if you have something that bumps into the fold, it's not going to fold well. Um, it'll stick out and you don't want that and I made several folds in this bag so, so that's really why I'm doing this so I don't get confused I don't think I'll get confused with that one but this way y'all can see what I'm what I'm talking about because that's important since you know this is for you guys all right, so there we go. Now we have all of our fold lines. Well, not all of them. We have the majority of the fold lines marked. All right, so I usually open that up. I don't save the triangles because they're kind of a... Well, they're just kind of... They're kind of fussy. They're kind of hard to use. Okay, one of these needs to be cut. And I'm thinking it's the bottom one. And for that, I'm not bending over. I'm going to use this. Ruler, and there we go. That's why I'm sad that that ruler is broken. I broke it. Yep, I did. It was me. I cannot tell a lot. And if you want to ink these up, I mean, I, did I ink that one? Nope, I didn't. Some of them I inked and some of them I didn't. Um, actually, I don't think I inked any of those ones. Well, there you have it. Okay, but you can. Um, the Blue Fern Studio Paper takes ink like no tomorrow. I mean, look how pretty that is. But, you know, I just don't want to take the time to ink. Um... And, but I do ink. Don't get me wrong. I ink oh, maybe 25% of the time. Um, let me have a drink of my coffee. Mm, it's good. It's from City Brew. City Brew, it's their chocolate grizzly. Chocolate, I don't know. It's something grizzly. But it has chocolate. And peanut butter, which you don't really taste the peanut butter, which is really weird. But anyway, back to inking. I ink probably maybe 25%. 20%. I, I, I don't, I mean, as you can see, these three here, none of them have inking on the outside. Nor on the inside. So... And this is, this paper here is from Stamperia. And it takes ink really well, too. See, I did ink this flower. And this flower came from Stamperia. Um, but I don't think I inked any other. Yeah, see, I inked this one. This one here is from Stamperia as well. But see, it just takes the ink so good. Um... So, and on this one here, as you can see, this is more, this is fairly flexible. 
I used copy paper on that. And this one here, see, it has a little bit more. I mean, I, I, I can still get it to do that, but it's still, it's much more sturdy than this one. Which, I love that one. And I love the paper I used. It's by Roxy, by Rachel at Roxy Creations. Okay, so to glue, I'm just going to use my glue stick and my Tombow glue so I don't have to pull out my glue book. And that is the only reason I'm doing it this way. Because um, I don't want glue all over my mat and... This saves on glue paper, so if you're short on, on glue paper, you can use this technique. And um, I don't use, I have art glitter glue, and I don't use that around the edges because, well, it sets really quick. Really quick. Um, not necessarily while you're putting it on. But when you put it down on the paper, it's it's going to set within a count of five, if not sooner. And with this kind of application, I want a squidge of wiggle room. Because, you know, I may have it lined up down here at the bottom. Then I get to the top and I realize, oh, well, that's not, um, <laughs> that's not lined up. All right, I'm just taking a paper towel around, squishing all the glue, making sure everything is, all the corners and edges are, are glued down. And I'm not going to sew this because, truth be told, I really, really like the, the way that the stitching looks I mean I just think this looks amazing but it's a process for me to do I have to go over to my sewing machine pull it out from the wall and go about it that way and I gotta be honest it's kind of a pain in my butt and seriously I am a lazy crafter I'm not gonna lie I am just, oops, this is not, oh gosh. See, I was talking, I was visiting, and next thing I know, I was going to glue it all. Okay, so instead of putting the glue on that, I'm going to actually put the glue on, oops, I already have the lid off. <laughs> I'm going to put the glue on this, and while I'm here, I might as well make sure everything is glued down because paper bags they're mass made made and a lot of this stuff is not glued down and the reason I'm putting the glue here is because I can see where this little odd shaped piece is because I'm not going to want to glue here because I want this to be a tuck so I'm going to glue the top here and then down the side, down that little whoop de woo there and then down this side. And I don't know that I'm going to need that much glue because this doesn't go all the way down. And then I'm going to glue down across the bottom. But I'm not, I don't want any glue to hinder that, that tuck spot. And if you weren't going to use it, use it, then that's fine. Then you can, yeah, see, I didn't need this glue down here. Um, then you didn't, then you don't necessarily have to I'm gonna glue that, but not, and then you don't have to worry about it. Just put your glue down on this, on the cardstock that you're putting down and bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. And you're done. But since I'm wanting this to be a tuck spot. And the tumble glue, like I said, it takes it a minute or five to grab. And I forgot to put thumb notch in there and it's not gluing it's not sticking which is fine because I have this 
And again, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna put this right up there. There we go. Fun match. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put paper clip. I'm gonna put a regular paper clip right there. And that'll hold that down. Regular paper clip. Okay, well, I don't know where a regular paper clip is. Well, I don't know where it is, but I can get to this. So there we go. Alright, so then, then these pieces here are relatively easy. Um, I am going to choose things that kind of sort of go. Um, and then we'll glue them down and I'm going to make this a, a pocket over here. You don't have to do any gluing inside the, the bag. Um, I don't know which way this goes. No, I think I'm going to use this side anyway. So there you go. Okay. So let's measure this. This is... About three and five eighths. So we're gonna go. I can use that one because it's too tall. We can use this one. So what did I say? Three and five eighths. We're gonna go three and a half. <coughs> and I really want the green. So. <coughs> mm, sorry. I get to talking, my allergies act up, and it's just all bad. Okay, so I got stuff here. Okay, three so need three and a half inches, and I want this right side. Okay, so three and a half right there. Oop, that moved. God bless America. Okay, there we go. That can be fixed. See, errors like that are, well, it is an opportunity to fix. And by the time you put glue down, it'd be fine anyway. Um, how tall is this envelope? I might use that. I don't know. We're gonna put it over there. It is nine and a half, so if I go nine and a quarter, I should make sure this is gonna fit. Yes. Okay, so now I wanna go nine, oops, nine and a quarter. And see by using just the bottom part. I mean, nope, I will still probably need to fix that, but it's not as. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's awesome. And ta da! And you know, some of the bag's gonna show through. That's fine. Actually, I think this goes this way. Which is still fine. Okay, so over to that side. That side looks nice. So I'm gonna use this side. Well, you know, since I'm covering this, we're not. I'm not gonna put it like glue it. You can glue this to a page like that. I'm, as you can see, obviously I can do it since I'm covering the back. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna put it put it like that because I like that okay again I'm going to use the glue stick on the inside and then the Tombow glue on the outside um and that's just so I don't have to to get my glue page I don't have to use a glue page 
and really you know you don't have to invest in all these different types of glue if you don't want to um now i would recommend a glue a good a glue stick of your liking and um a thin a glue that you can lay down a thin bead of glue be it Tombow or art glitter glue or um sorry concentrating or be it crap oops sorry god bless america okay nope it's still not straight everything i do is straight ish i don't know why i'm all stressing about it and straight ish is okay um you know so a, a glue that has a thin that you can just lay down a thin bead of glue um be that the tombow the tombow glue i like the tombow glue don't get me wrong um but the art glitter glue sorry this has been a well loved bottle um the art glitter glue is it grabs quicker than the tombow glue as you can see um so that's really the reason why why I use it. Um, it's a really good glue. I did try the Barely There glue. It has a little teddy bear. And, um, I didn't really like it. And the reason for that is because it's not as quick as the Arch Glitter Glue. Um, art glitter glue is, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's quick. Like I said, count of five or less. And I'm just putting the bulldog clips down here just cause, well, they seem to be holding better than plain old paper clips. And I do want the corners to be glued well. All right, so there you go. So now we have you know, I mean, these are so versatile. When we get on the inside, you can add like journaling papers. You could add, uh, I think on all those ones, I just added pockets for ephemera type stuff. So, I mean, Seriously, you could do any. Okay, I really want that butterfly there. So, we're going to have that butterfly there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, must have it straight. Straight. Okay, there. And then there. And then I will measure this. Um, and for me, it doesn't matter that this is all ripped up. Because, again, I'm going to be gluing this to this. So it's really not going to be seen. Okay, so that's three and five eighths. If we go three and a half, it'll be fine. Um, this is really the only... Well, I won't say the only, but... one of the few projects that I actually get the ruler out and I measure and it's really because it makes it easier um, just makes it easier and I've already forgotten how tall it was We're going to go nine and a quarter because that ruler is broken. I think that's what the other one, I don't know. Okay, square it up. Okay. 
Okay. There, and Susan, that will go right there. And that'll be pretty. And you can make each of these panels different. I mean, if you look at... Where is it? Well, this one here, I think I... It's all, I want to say... Um, Rox Creations papers. But... This is, I want to say, a, a, one of her botanical kits. And then these ones here are her letter kits. One of her letter kits. So, there's that. So, okay, so this is going to be... Take this off because, well, it's stuck now. Oops, come back here. Where are you going? And these do take a little bit of time. And by a little bit of time, I forgot to set my timer. My goodness, let me see how long we've been going. Oh, and oh, it uh, oh, geez, we've been going 55 minutes. What are you kidding me? We haven't even finished the outside of this. I apparently, I just I can't go. So I just there, I have one speed when filming, and it's slower than a seven year inch. Apparently, that's all bad. I should have set my timer on my watch and then Lily P Putin here me not have or Lily P Putin, you know, the Lily Puts me not have decided to mouth off. But, well, she did. So, I guess we have to deal with it, right? Okay. And for fabric and stuff, I really like um, Fabric Tack. And some other glue up there that is supposed to be for fabric, but I don't really like it. I don't know. I'm a glue snob. I'm a water snob too, so. I shouldn't say I'm a glue snob because I'm, I'm really not. I just want my requirements for glue is it has to work for me. It may not work for everyone, but it has to work for me. Okay, so this is going to be a two-part video, I guess, because, well, I waffled and dilly-dallied and did all that. And we don't want to make this too long. So next Friday we'll do the inside. Um, hopefully we'll get pockets in. Uh, so decorating done. And it'll be fabulous. That's already looking really nice. Um, really pretty. Um, I'm liking it. I don't know if I like that corner. But well. I suppose it is what it is. Right? Sorry, it still is looking good. So we'll put maybe a pocket here. We're gonna, we might put a small, you know, so it, we'll put a small signature in. Let me see how to do that. I'm gonna leave this as a pocket. We'll cover this, cover that. Make some things to put in there. Or I might have some already made, I don't know. Um. Because I do have a lot of meat. And that's what we'll do next Friday. Alright, well, I'm glad you guys joined me today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. And a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you on Monday. Monday, we're going to do the flip-throughs of the um, envelope stacks. And... Over the weekend, I'm going to try and get, I think I have my Etsy shop mostly set up. I just have to take photos of things. So I will work on that this weekend. And um, then on Monday, when I do the flip through, um, I'll also upload those to Etsy. And if anybody wants them, they will be there. All right, well, you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Don't forget to give that thumbs up 
and comment down in the comment box because I love hearing from you guys. I answer all, at this point I answer all of my comments. Um, there may come a time in the future when I have too many subscribers that I don't answer them, but right now I'm answering them all. So y'all have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye.